the Seeper long-range air and missile defense system represents a significant advancement in Turkey's indigenous air defense capabilities. Designed to counter a wide range of aerial threats, including aircraft, cruise missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles, the Seeper system is a key component of Turkey's modern warfare doctrine. Jointly developed by Roketsan, Aselsan, and the research institute Tubatak Sage, the system aims to provide comprehensive air defense coverage, ensuring strategic protection for critical infrastructure and military assets. The SIPR project was initiated in 2018 by the Presidency of Defense Industries, marking a major step in Turkey's efforts to achieve self-reliance in air defense. It comprises a multi-layered structure, integrating a command and control level and a battery level. Each battery includes a fire control center, fire control radar, search radar, missile launch systems, missile transport loading systems, a fleet control center, and communication station vehicles. These components work in unison to provide 360-degree coverage and multi-target engagement capabilities. The SIPR system is being introduced in multiple blocks, with SIPR Block 1 already entering service in October 2024. The Block 1 variant has demonstrated the capability to detect, track, and engage high-speed aerial targets at ranges exceeding 100 kilometers. The development of Seeper Block 2, featuring an extended range of 150 kilometers, has been progressing rapidly, with successful test firings conducted in August 2023. Meanwhile, work on Seeper Block 3, expected to have a range exceeding 180 kilometers, is underway, further strengthening Turkey's long-range air defense capabilities. Operational deployment of the SEPR system is set to enhance Turkey's layered air defense strategy. It will integrate with other indigenous air defense systems such as GERS, HISAR-O, and HISAR-O+, creating a robust network capable of countering evolving aerial threats. The system's ability to operate in various engagement modes, manual, semi-automatic, and automatic, enables high flexibility in mission execution. Additionally, the system supports multi-target and multi-radar fusion, enhancing overall situational awareness and engagement efficiency. The SEPR system is often compared with regional counterparts such as Russia's S-400, Israel's David Sling, and the European SAMP-T. While the S-400 remains one of the most advanced air defense systems globally, its deployment within NATO-aligned Turkey has been politically contentious. SEPR provides an indigenous alternative, reducing dependency on foreign procurement and aligning with national strategic priorities. Compared to David Sling, which specializes in intercepting ballistic threats, SIPR offers a more versatile engagement capability against diverse aerial threats. The SAMP-T system, used by European nations, also provides long-range interception, but relies on NATO integration whereas SIPR is designed for independent operational flexibility. With mass production deliveries set to commence in 2025, the SIPR system marks a significant milestone in Turkey's defense modernization. Its integration into the Turkish Air Force Command by the end of 2024 will solidify Turkey's ability to safeguard its airspace, providing a strategic shield against potential threats. As the system continues to evolve, future iterations will likely incorporate advanced radar, artificial intelligence-driven targeting algorithms, and enhanced missile guidance technology, ensuring that SIPR remains a formidable element of Turkey's national defense strategy. The deployment of SIPR is expected to significantly enhance Turkey's strategic deterrence and defensive capabilities. Positioned across key military and infrastructure sites, the system will serve as a primary shield against potential aerial threats from adversarial nations and non-state actors alike. The distributed architecture of the system allows for flexible deployment, ensuring both close and remote defensive positions can be established based on evolving security needs. Given Turkey's geopolitical positioning, the SEPR system will play a vital role in securing national airspace, especially in regions prone to tension such as the Eastern Mediterranean, 
the Aegean, and southeastern borders, facing instability. In addition to defending against conventional military threats, the system will also provide protection against asymmetric threats, such as drone swarms and cruise missile attacks. CEPR's development integrates cutting-edge technology, including networked radar systems, electronic countermeasures, and advanced guidance mechanisms. The Fire Control Radar, developed by Acelson, enhances target acquisition and engagement efficiency, while the integration of an active electronically scanned array radar further improves long-range tracking and targeting precision. The system's ability to distinguish friend from foe also enhances operational security, minimizing risks of friendly fire incidents. One of the standout features of the CEPR system is its ability to operate in diverse weather and environmental conditions. Designed to function in high altitude, extreme temperature, and electronic warfare intensive environments, the system ensures continuous operability in the face of adversarial countermeasures. Additionally, the vertical launch capability provides a 360-degree engagement envelope, maximizing interception effectiveness. The introduction of CEPR into Turkey's arsenal marks a significant shift in the regional balance of power. By establishing an independent air defense network, Turkey strengthens its ability to counter aerial threats without relying on external defense systems. This development is particularly relevant in light of restrictions placed on procurement of Western air defense systems due to geopolitical tensions. Moreover, CEPR's capabilities and potential export prospects position Turkey as a major player in the global air defense market. With increasing demand for cost-effective, high-performance missile defense systems, Turkey A could potentially export the CEPR system to allied nations and emerging defense partners. As Turkey A continues to refine the CEPR system, future enhancements will likely focus on increasing missile range, improving engagement speeds, and integrating artificial intelligence for predictive threat analysis. The ongoing development of the CEPR Block 3 variant, which aims to extend engagement ranges beyond 200 kilometers, signals further advancements in missile defense technology. Additionally, integration with space-based and cyber defense elements will further bolster the system's effectiveness against emerging threats. With continued investment in indigenous defense technologies, Turkey is set to establish itself as a leader in air and missile defense innovation. The successful deployment and operationalization of CIPR will not only enhance national security, but also solidify Turkey's position as a key defense technology exporter on the global stage.